Hey guys, I'm Rudy, installing a trailer hitch on your Kia Forte. It can take you to some really fun places like camping and biking. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer almost anywhere in North America. Let's break down this install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So we're gonna be removing this underbody panel on the driver's side, removing three push pins using a flathead screwdriver. Next, we're gonna be removing two nuts using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna be removing the rear nut with a 12 millimeter socket. So next we're gonna lower exhaust. We're gonna remove two rubber retainers, one in back of the vehicle and one towards the front of the vehicle. So we're gonna be spraying the rubber retainers with soapy water. And we're gonna repeat the same process on the rubber retainer towards the front of the vehicle. As you can see, once the exhaust is lowered, we have the cross member supporting the exhaust. Okay, so next we're gonna be removing the heat shield on the passenger side, held in by five nuts using a 10 millimeter socket. So we're gonna be removing two plastic covers. There could be one in the passenger side and one on the driver's side. And now we're ready to install the hitch. The hitch comes with four individual pieces of hardware. Carriage bolt, a carriage spacer, conical washer, nut. Now we're ready to install our hardware. Our carriage bolt, our carriage spacer using our fish wire. We use this access point where the hitch is gonna be attached to, feeding our fish wire to our access hole. So we're going to be attaching our carriage spacer and our carriage bolt to the fish wire. We're going to feed it through the access hole. We're going to repeat the process on the passenger side. And now we're ready to install the hitch using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. Now, if you don't have one at home, please use the buddy system for help. So we're gonna run this fish wire to the front forward hole of the hitch on both sides, driver's side and passenger side. Okay, so we're gonna be removing the fish wire and we're gonna be installing the conical washer. Just make sure that the teeth is pointed towards the hitch. And we're gonna go ahead and hand tighten the bolt. So now we're gonna be drilling a hole in the rearmost hole of the hitch. First, we're gonna use a pilot drill bit. For the bolt to fit, we'll need to use a half inch drill bit. Okay, so we're about to install the second bolt to the rearmost hole of the hitch. We had to put two fish wires together for it to reach the access hole. Now we're ready to torque down the bolts per manufacturing instructions using the torque wrench, five inches extension, and 11 16 socket. We're gonna use an air saw to trim this underbody panel per manufacturing specification. Now we're gonna be cutting the heat shield per instructions. I have lined up the cutting area. Okay, now we're gonna reinstall the heat shield. Now we're gonna install the bolts that, that we removed. Now we're going to reinstall the exhaust. Now we're going to reinstall our underneath panel. So with our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle to level ground to show you some important measurement. This is a inch and a quarter hitch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is two inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver is 10 inches. This will help you determine length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as bike rack and cargo carrier. 
If you have any questions about the product seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.